Hello, my name is Maria Toka and today we're going to create this embroidery patch effect in Adobe Firefly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just to type our text. Then organize the right composition. Okay, then I need to make sure that there's no white spots inside of this font. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Yeah, I just duplicated all the layers, merged them together, and now I'm gonna merge them with a white background. So basically I just rasterized everything. And the next thing I'm gonna do is going to filter blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, some really apparent white spots I'm just going to cover with brush tool. And then I'm just pressing command M and adjusting the curve. Okay, it's done. Then I'm going to crop the image a little bit. But still I want to leave some space on the edges because sometimes Adobe Firefly likes to crop the images too much. I mean the generated images. So just in case I leave some space. Then I need to save it as a JPEG file. And then I'm going to Adobe Firefly. Firefly.adobe.com slash inspire slash images. And here I'm going to put in my prompt which is letters embroidery monochrome highly detailed isolated on white background then I'm gonna click generate but that's just the starting point then the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna choose photo in the effects section I'm choosing hyper realistic and camera angle shot from above and to the reference image we add the text that we just created in Adobe Photoshop or you could create it in Adobe Illustrator, doesn't matter, our JPEG file. So I'm just going to drag it, continue and put the strength to the max and the styles. I'm going to leave like that but maybe I will need to decrease these bars, I'm not sure, let's just try generate. Not bad. The only problem is that the little word for is missed. I'm gonna save this one just in case. Yeah, and the letter T is cropped, which is not great. So I'm gonna save this one also just to have the material. I'm gonna try decrease the styles, visual intensity and strength and generate again. Okay, it still ignores our word for. I guess I'll have to do it separately. Okay, so the only problem is this little word for. And I need this little word for. I just opened it in Photoshop and I'm gonna copy it and paste on the new layer increase the size yeah the quality is not the best but that's fine and then i'm gonna crop the image so basically i just want only the image of the word for something like that now i'm gonna save it as a jpeg file now as a reference image i'm gonna use only this for and let's just try okay as you can see it's a lot more detailed i'll download both just in case and another thing I wanted to try is to use this image as a reference for style. Okay, so the main thing we need to pay attention to is the lighting. It needs to be the same as this image. And the lighting is the same here. Here it's very similar. Save. Okay. So now I'm gonna open up this file was just fun that I really liked I liked the most out of what it suggested me I need to get rid of this extra um, unclear embroidery thing I don't know don't really need that I need to clean the letter N yeah, and now we have space for this little four word. And we'll try this last image that we just generated. Obviously the scaling is going to be different, but 
I'll try to incorporate it more naturally. Maybe I need to blur it a little bit. Adjust the curves. Okay, let's try remove background. Yeah, I'm using Photoshop beta by the way. So it's easier for me to remove the background. To be honest, the lighting is different <laughs> from another side. Yeah, we need something like this to make it work. Remove background. And then I'm gonna adjust the size. Now we need to add these drop shadows. They are there, we just hide them by masking. So I'm gonna choose the soft brush, white color, and I'm gonna return them where they were. And I'm gonna make all of it a little bit darker. Blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, now it looks pretty good, quite realistic. Okay, so here's the result. I hope you try it yourself. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram and see you next time.